If you're looking to save money, this is for you. Hi guys, I'm Shay Wow. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here on this channel, I talk about the city of New Orleans and everything it involves. I talk about spiritual things and anything that comes to my intuitive mind. Okay, so feel free to subscribe right now. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Why not? You subscribe to everybody else. Why not subscribe to an average girl like you? This video is about the pros and cons of catching public transportation. I pretty much caught public transportation pretty much all my life. Okay, and there's some pros and there's some cons. People who are considering catching the bus. In particular, this video will focus specifically on the city of New Orleans, okay? So, but you still can apply it to other cities. I'm pretty sure there are other cities that are similar, okay? So, let's start with the pros. Saving the environment. It's really not that bad to think about it though, or it's not that like sad to think about the environment and what's going on right now, the ozone layers and everything else. like. If you catch the bus, you are contributing to saving the environment. A lot of the buses that here in New Orleans are eco-friendly, just to let you know that by the way, all right? Another pro is that you meet the most interesting people on the bus. Like I've met like the most interesting people like on the bus. Totally awesome people too. I'll just tell you that much. And not everybody that catches the bus needs to catch the bus. Let me just say that. It's not like a bridge thing. It's not a port thing, especially in New Orleans. Um, there are people who are doctors and lawyers and nurses and, and firemen and policemen that catch the bus, trust me. And it's not like it's some low standard type of deal or whatever. It's a really good thing. Because a lot of times in New Orleans, there's like a lot of festivals, parades and whatnot. And people can't like drive around the city. They can't drive around the city because there's so much traffic. So... Catching the bus will help you to beat traffic. You get to save money. That's the whole idea, right? The buses right now, or I'm a school to the side. There's a list of all the bus like um prices and whatnot. Um, the good thing about New Orleans transportation is that there's a Go Mobile app, and that's what I'm using right now to show you guys the prices or whatever. It helps track the buses. It tracks when uh there are different detours or if accidents happen they'll let you know like you should be going catching another bus because something happened or whatever it's not always accurate to be honest with you but most of the time if you follow the like little icons that the but the bus icons that would like really give you the truth about where the bus is where it's not going yada 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 okay that that app is legit <laughs> <laughs> you save money um like i said the bus passes are 65 dollars a one-way ticket is 125 so a good thing about catching the bus is that you may have to walk a lot you might have to walk to your bus stop you might have to walk a few blocks to your destination and it's all good because exercising is really really good for you really 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 good for you okay you want to get that body moving so if you want to lose weight it can be um ideal to catch the bus if you are a person who just afraid to like ride the bus like drive in certain areas like i know people who are afraid to drive <clears throat> who are afraid to drive across the river and uh that's going into the west bank if you don't know that but driving across that bridge like it can be terrifying for some people so they just catch the bus if they gotta go or do the ferry or catch the ferry but say and that's okay you know so it's pretty cool um i mean hey it not all just is it that it saves money for me like that 200 i mean that 2000 or something can be going towards something else more important like education um food you know groceries something way more important so to break down the calculations um the pass is 65 dollars so this is how much you'll be paying for a month pass for a whole year. $780 versus car insurance average rate is about $200 a month. That's $2,400 a year. 
and say if you have a card note. Say the card note is one fifty. Let's say let's say one fifty times twelve, eighteen hundred. So the eighteen hundred plus two is going to give you like four four thousand three hundred dollars that you can be saving every year. That could be going toward groceries, it could be going toward tuition, it could be going toward health insurance, things that are more important. So that's just how I see it. It saves you money, no doubt. I feel like riding, also riding public transportation can be very medicinal, uh, especially the streetcars in New Orleans. Like, I love to ride the streetcars and just like read, like, when I'm stressed out because I'm a student and when I'm stressed out in class and things like that and I want to study and I'm supposed to read or whatever, I will like sit on the streetcar and read all the chapters. I ride the streetcar to the end because I'm fortunately enough to stay close to, I'm fortunate enough to stay close to the end of the line. So I would like go catch the streetcar at the end of the line and ride it to the other end of the line and then ride it back home. And then that kind of gives me, I don't know, it's just something about riding the streetcar. It's very relaxing. Now let's get to the cons, the cons of riding uh, public transportation in particular New Orleans, okay? All right, God, it's gonna be a lot of cons. You can be independent. You don't have to worry about asking your grandma, your mama, your cousin, your brother, or whoever for a ride. Riding a bus makes you more independent. And we all want independence, right? Yeah. Everywhere, anywhere in the city is 20 minutes away. On a bus, it'll be like 30 to 45 minutes. If you have to catch two buses, it'll be like 30 minutes to an hour. The bus snaps the hell out of your time. I'm going to tell you that right now. That is a pro. And let's not talk about if you got to go across the river like you have to plan your trips strategically using the go mobile app you know and it'll tell you how long it's going to take you to get there how when the buses should be there when you get off the bus make the transfer uh duration and all of that it gives you all of that so the go mobile app is really awesome um i don't know if they have that in your city or whatever but you know once again we're talking about the city of new Orleans in particular but yeah the weather so if it's raining outside or something and most buses in new orleans especially like in non-busy uh territories they don't have shelters and like um like seats and things like that so they're they're currently supposedly working on that but you're doomed okay especially if the rain just comes out of nowhere and you know that happens sometimes you're doomed so you have to like carry like your raincoat with you you have to make sure you carry an, a mini umbrella with you because you don't know and you don't want to be cut out there in the rain uh or if it's too hot sometimes the bus i feel like when it's hot like the buses take forever to get here i don't know to, to my stop or whatever or if it's too cold i don't really mind the cold but you know when it's too cold you get my gist like basically i'm saying like the weather you have to be tolerant of the weather because it's not like a car where you can just get up and go where you gotta go and beat the weather and nah, all you have to actually be in the elements and people the people okay. so i have a lot of things saying a lot of things to say about the people when you're riding a bus some people can be very loud some people smoke cigarettes you can smell the smoke from their clothes and they sit right in front of you, you want to smell it. That's something personally that bothers me. Like, that is such a pro. I mean, I gotta keep saying pro. It's not a pro, honey. It's a con. It's... Anyway, that is such a kind of catching the bus. You have to deal with secondhand smoke. Yeah. You have to check your seats before you sit down. I've seen blood residue, stool residue, and throw up residue. So yeah, it's disgusting. Just watch where you sit up or stand up. The worst thing that happened to me, like this guy, this poor guy on the bus, the car on the bus to begin with. And this guy on the bus, he threw up. <laughs> he missed me by an inch, like. 
So you want to make sure you have these things with you if you're catching the bus, you know. You got to be prepared as if you are out for an adventure every day. I have my headphones with me most of the time. This, my battery pack, just in case my phone go dead or my headphones or whatever go dead. I have this with me. Most likely I'm having my water with me. It's an adventure. So you got to have your essentials. Um, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with anybody who you know may be catching the bus soon or maybe in a predicament and thinking about catching the bus or whatever. Like it's totally not a bad thing. It's just that with everything in life comes a good side and comes a bad side. Think about it, like why you wanna do it. Like make a list, pros and cons of what, why you wanna catch the bus, why you don't wanna catch the bus or whatever, you know. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, it doesn't cost you a thing. You subscribe to everybody else. Bye guys. Hi guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button and also follow me on my social media. Instagram and Facebook at I am Shay Wow. And also if you're an art lover, follow me on 504 underscore art. That's on Instagram. Anyway guys, see you on the next one. Peace.